So a while ago, I had a run with the law. No, what I really wanted to say is I had a run in at the uh, drive through car wash and I got a little scratch on the side of my ride. So I just wanted to quickly take care of it because it's a fairly light scratch and I think it's gonna be really easy to fix. So I'm not really too worried about it, but I just wanted to show you guys, since I haven't really fully polished my car because there's really not a need to yet, um, just kind of how you can polish a little bit of your car and uh, you know take care of it. I do want to mention that you know I do have a ceramic coat, so if you do do something like this, that if you do have any coating, it's going to be removed. So you can either reapply it or just not give a damn. And I'm not going to be giving a damn today. Uh, that's just how we're going to do it today. Yeah, I'm going to get everything set up and then we'll get into it. So I don't know how visible this is for you guys from your angle, but you can definitely feel the scratch just barely. And that makes me feel like uh, we'll just be able to get away with a nice, easy polish here. Hopefully you could, if you want to mask off areas you don't want polish to get on, but I'm not going to be doing that today because this scratch just runs basically right from my headlight to around here. It really doesn't matter on things like headlights, to be honest. I've used polish on them before specifically for that purpose. So if there are areas you do want to specifically avoid, then get some masking tape. This would be things mostly like dark plastics. So I did just wash my car in, uh, you know, dual detail fashion. Like I'm always washing my car. And so I'm not gonna pull out my pressure washer and wash it again. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it very simple. So I've got some iron decon and a clay bar. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna iron decon and clay bar just around the scratch, just to make sure it's, you know, there's no contaminants or anything like that. And I can get it nice and clean. And I'm just gonna wipe it off after with a rinseless wash. I've got some ultimate polish, which is just a finishing polish. It's good for removing fine scratches. And I will show you what the scratch looks like. It looks like this. You see it right here? Yeah, that's what it looks like. I've got my fancy polisher uh, with a three inch pad. I put a two inch pad on, but uh, I'm a little lazy right now. And then I've just got my power cord to attach it. So yeah, um, it's gonna be a pretty simple polishing process. You guys already know the drill. Especially when you're doing these quick fixes, you don't really have to think about it too much. But just keep in mind that, you know, if you do polish a specific area, there's gonna be slightly less clear coat there. Uh, which is completely normal. You know, as you drive your car, certain areas are going to become more damaged than others over time. So like the front of your car is, um, is gonna be more damaged than the trunk of your car usually, uh, unless you get rear-ended. I might've been rear-ended once. Yeah, we're just gonna get right into the mix. This should be a pretty quick one, but you know, I think it'll help you guys if you have little scratches you wanna take care of. Uh, this is a great solution for you and you don't need a polisher. You could do it by hand as well. I think this is just a little bit easier and faster for someone like me who's um, a little slow in the buen. Uh, I don't know where I was going with that one. So I did forget to mention this earlier, but you're gonna want also your IPA mixture at about a 15%-ish. 10 to 15%. So I used 99% and I diluted it one to seven. So one part isopropyl alcohol, 99%, and another seven parts water. That gives you about 12%. And then I've got some rinseless wash, which I'm just gonna be using to clean the area first. This is gonna be prior to your clay barring and all of that goodness. And like I said, I did literally just wash my car yesterday, but I have driven it around a tiny smidge. So now that that's all cleaned up, I'm just gonna take my iron decon in the pump sprayer. It's so awesome, by the way. Just getting it a nice light spray just around the area. And you wanna let it sit. Oh, this stuff smells rancid every time. So I got my Chinese clay bar. Literally, I got it from Timu. Not being racist right now, not today. Maybe tomorrow though. Because I'm doing a, such a small area, I'm just gonna grab a little clump and I'm just gonna work it around. Just really trying to get, you know, the iron decon chunks picked up that are maybe doing something, but this car is fairly clean and well taken care of for the most part. You can see it didn't really pick up anything and the iron decon also isn't really reacting with anything. I'm just gonna grab a hose and just rinse it down. Oh, shoot, I gotta run. I turn on the water without stopping it. So I'm just rinsing it off real fast. I'm gonna come back with the rinseless wash again and just give it a quick, you know, double take. Also mop up some of that water too. This is normally what you would do. You'd prep the car for basically paint correction or 
for, not basically for, but for paint correction. Finally, the actual part you've probably all been waiting for. Now we're gonna get to the polishing. So basically we have cleaned the area, iron deconned and clay barred it to remove all the decontaminants in the paint. And then we just rinsed it off and just dried it all up, okay? So that's where we're at right now. So now you wanna take your polisher or if you just have like a, a foam applicator pad, you just want that and you just want your polish. Before we polish, I guess we gotta shake this up. So this is a lot of fun, really exciting, good content, you know, please don't leave. Okay, so all I'm gonna do, since this is a small area, I'm not gonna use a lot of polish, but I'm just gonna take a little bit, do it on my pad. Come on now. Oh. Well, what the heck did I shake that for? Uh, all right, this sounds like it's shaking pretty well. You hear that? So now I'm gonna throw a little polish on the pad. Okay, that was a lot. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dab it around. The reason you dab it around is so that when you do start up the polisher, hopefully it doesn't spit the polish everywhere. And another good thing is you probably want some glasses or something in case polish does fling around. Get my specs, voila. And you wanna set your polisher, if you do have one, at a lower speed, just to get it started. And then once you get it started, you can get it up to a nice high speed and just wreck that scratch up. All right, so you do one pass. I did like 14 on accident, I wasn't paying attention. It's kinda of just thinking about how loud this thing is, like for real. That was pretty good. It looks like it's already out, but we're not quite done yet. We got one thing left to do. I mean, there still is a little bit of the scratch there, but it's not nearly as visible, which is good. Um, so I could go ahead and probably run it through one more time. It's very hard for you guys to see at this point. I'm okay with how it looks, but if you do notice that there's still some of that damage left, you can go ahead and do a second round of it. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my IPA mixture, spray some on. This kind of dissolves that polish and then I'm just gonna wipe it up with a new rag. And voila, it looks great now. So it's very simple to polish your car. The reason that you know it's usually a higher priced labor is because of the time it takes. And there's also a lot of tooling and some technique involved, like knowing what kind of pads to use and also what kind of polishes to use for different levels of uh, paint damage. There still is a little tiny smidge in there. And if I wanted to, I could do a second round. I don't know, can you guys even see it? Let me see if I can get you guys on an angle for this visual, visualize it. All right, you definitely can't see it. I mean, just cause you guys can't see it doesn't mean it isn't there. Trust me guys, it is there. You know what, I'll have a little bit of a go at it. We'll do one more round for the boys for the one bucket army. So I'm just gonna do the same process again, getting some polish on the pad. And I'm also gonna hit this area down here cause there's some weird like smudging going on. So I'm gonna expand my area of influence here and we'll start slow. Get it worked around just once though. And now we're cranking it up. Going like five on the griots or four. Let's see. Mm. So I'm gonna do IPA. And you can see where the IPA sprays, there's, you can see where the polish is and where it isn't. It's a pretty easily defined line there. And I use this car all the time, so there's got a lot of just rock chips and stuff in it that it's just unfortunate, but that's what happens when you use a VIP car. Can't be really butthurt about it. I'm not seeing that scratch at all anymore. It was very simple. Oh, it's still there. Uh, just barely though. I might need a little bit of a heavier cut to get some of those deeper grooves. That's just kind of how detailing is. You gotta learn the ropes and the different tips and tricks and stuff. Very simple process, but uh, if you do get some kind of like maybe smaller scratches on your car, maybe someone actually opens their door and it hits your car or something along those lines, it's pretty easy to take care of yourself real fast. You know, this thing only took me like 15 minutes without recording, it would have been a lot less. Yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. That's pretty much it. Bye. <laughs> I love you guys.